On April 19, 2023, powerful thunderstorms brewed along a dry line in Oklahoma. Out of these monster storms emerged an army of 13 tornadoes, leaving a wake of devastation in their path. Several large cyclical tornadoes danced along a warm front, dropping recurring, deviant, moving, violent tornadoes. The radar returns were so significant, meteorologist Andy Hill had an intense emotional reaction to one of the debris signatures. So let's look at uh, the debris signature. Oh, no. That's, that is gut-wrenching. So people's lives are uh, changing right now, right in this area of uh, Northwest Shawnee. Storm chasers Caleb and Chris were not on the ground at the time, but they were also monitoring the situation from home. Um, and we saw just one of the most textbook books that you could ever see come across the radar. And as soon as we saw that, like we knew that this was not a good situation. And the next thing you know, it's going for this big town of Shawnee. And I think Channel 9 declared a tornado emergency for Shawnee. And that's when I knew this is going to be the one where we're going to have to drive all night to get there because they're going to need help. As soon as the tornadoes lifted, storm chasers Chris and Caleb sprung into action. Armed with essential supplies, we were able to bring relief to the shell-shocked residents of Oklahoma. Upon arrival, we surveyed the damage and then immediately went to Home Depot to pick up shovels and other supplies to help with the cleanup. Home Depot and a Walmart that day basically bought out all of their shovels and rakes. They had nothing left and pretty much all of Walmart's tarps. And then they stopped at the local fire department, dropping off supplies and speaking to a local official who provided an overview of the extent of the damage. We, right now, we appear to have over 60 homes affected. Uh, we know close to 30 of those are completely demolished. Right now, the community's come together great. We've had great responses from first responders all over the area. The damage there was pretty significant. The spirits were definitely really high and cold. Moving to Shawnee, we went to the donation center there and they had nothing. Like we were the first to bring any donation drop. The people at the donation center were just so excited. Uh, they know who we are now. And so if anything else happens in the future, we're going to be the ones they call. Here we assess the damage once again and we visited local stores like the dollar store and places like Walmart to gather toiletries, drinks, and other cleaning supplies for those in need. The team delivered the supplies to a local disaster relief distribution center. And as they brought all this stuff in, people in need were already showing up and gratefully taking what they required. And Chris Hall noticed that these people were hungry, so he went to the local McDonald's and spent nearly $500. And I see the manager walk out, I'm like, hey man, how quick could you make 200 cheeseburgers for me? He's like, huh? He said, well, 200 burgers is gonna take nearly an hour. I was like, all right, do it. He's like, oh, I thought you were just joking. No, I'm being for real, fix me 200 burgers. And we walk out of there with like five boxes full of McDonald's McDoubles. And the outpour of support and outpour of love was just amazing at that donation drop-off center. I mean, the Red Cross is pointing at us being like, they brought all of this, but I'm glad that we were able to do what we could do. The Y'all Squad was able to spend an entire week on the ground helping people, a feat that was only possible due to your generosity. So it's just crazy to see how the Y'all Squad's bringing all of these people from all over the country together for one single mission to help all of these victims of these disasters. Well, the Y'all Squad's here. We're going to show up. When we show up, we show up. Thank you, Y'all Squad. Thank you, Y'all Squad. Really huge thank you to the Y'all Squad. I mean, you guys are great. We really do appreciate it that y'all showed up to help the community in time with me. So far this year, the Y'all Squad has delivered over $200,000 in disaster relief aid to communities impacted by severe weather. If you want to help us continue to do things like this, consider subscribing to this channel because every single penny this channel generates will go straight into our nonprofit organization. Also, if you go to our website, shopryanhall.com right now and get one of these Y'all Squad stickers, you can pick your price and 100% of the profit from that sticker will go towards us being able to help more people when the next inevitable storm hits. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.